Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. If you guys watched my previous video, remember that the kind guys from Have Bike collected my bike. That was the day before yesterday and now they're here to drop it back off again. So I'm excited to see it. Here it is, looking fresh, good as new. Before I get on with my day, if any of you guys do live in the London or the Surrey areas, make sure you check out my code in the description if you want 10% off your own service, just like this one. I'm driving over to a mate of mine who lives in Richmond, who has been working on a very exciting project. His name is Roman, and a couple of months ago, I went for a bike ride, and me and Roman got talking about this new project which he's been investing quite a lot of time in. I thought the whole concept was so cool. So today I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, tell us about your bus, it's sitting there pretty. This is our bus. Um, we bought it two months ago, all the way over from New York, fresh off the boat. But yeah, she's here and we're building it amazing the idea originally came from we were on holiday in italy and our children aren't the biggest fan of traveling so we were like oh god what can we do to go on holiday we saw a big motorhome we we're like god we should just get a motorhome and then i started looking at motorhomes and they're pretty expensive yeah, yeah. Before i was researching one and saw a school bus and how somebody in america had kitted one out uh, and started traveling america in it now I haven't driven this one. I haven't done my test yet. Oh my te yeah. My test got cancelled. Right. Oh, so you, you need like a big boy license to drive this thing, You right? need a HGV license. I'd never think I was going to say it in life. I'm going to be a qualified bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's future career choice for you, right? Exactly. The world, the world is my oyster. I did my first day and then lockdown cancelled. No. Yeah, yeah. So I was three days away from being able to drive my own no. bus never seen that brand before what's that called that is called international so as roman said he's had it for a couple of months now and during that couple of months he's been pretty busy i've done a fair bit but it's a big project isn't it this is it's yeah. like not one that you can just do at the weekend and kind of just get on with it like it is it's a big undertaking well so loads of people are doing american school bus they actually even got a name so in america they call them schoolies okay so a schoolie is a converted american school bus and in america there are millions of retired school buses sitting in school bus graveyards so what you're saying is what most conversions are done like pretty, basic pretty, by pretty, yeah. by uh, and in, in diy enthusiasts yeah right. i would say that most conversions are done by but my background is super high-end property yeah uh, and obviously in these times when uh, things are a bit slow, uh, it kind of fits in well with our lifestyle and uh, you know, not, there's not a massive amount of work out there at the moment. So this is effectively me building our first house, <laughs> which I never thought was going to be yellow and have uh, wheels. six wheels. <laughs> we bought it, uh, stripped it out, got rid of all the rust. Yeah. Uh, painted the floors and st bits and pieces like that but I've recently been doing more intricate work where uh, re rerouting the wiring refurbishing the cockpit of the bus basically all the prep work to give us a strong platform to build from mm -hmm. and then we can put the more uh, build parts in practice so the next step is I guess can you show us yes. show us what you've been doing well so now now where the disappointment <laughs> yeah. happens isn't it it's like oh god look at all that big chat not at all he's done nothing you've got to start somewhere exactly so come on board i put new batteries in the other day yeah and it's really really cold and i haven't started it oh i see for a while so this will be moment of truth and so the way to start because uh, it's an old diesel engine so it takes ages for the the diesel to warm up yeah here we go we're off are you ready ready three two one <laughs> Very much an empty 
empty um, shell at the moment. You can see by the, the lines on the floor, it is the proposed layout of the bus. Right. You're currently standing in the bedroom. Yeah. Or one of the bedrooms. This is the, the cab, a bedroom for my oldest daughter, Isabel. That's the first, the first room. Then you come into the a loo and a shower with doors which uh, flip open to create one uh, elongated bathroom. Then you come into the universal kitchen stroke study area. The office stroke uh, preparation area flips over and becomes a bunk bed, the top bunk bed and another panel comes out of the wall, flips down and becomes a bottom bunk bed. The beds for my middle daughter, Macy, my son, Oscar. Roman, are these the same as your, uh, your family rules? <laughs> so we've been reading it. What, what do they say? <laughs> do not fight, push or shove, yes. Um, be courteous, use no profane language. Do, touch, not touch bring, go. do not bring pets on the bus. No, we have to bring the pets on the bus. <laughs> it's the only way I'm getting the kids on the bus. Have, have a safe trip. That's have a nice a one. Trip, yeah. Keep it clean. So Leave no cool. student behind. Post-trip inspection system. There you go. Leave no student behind. <laughs> so then open double glass doors into your dining area. The door, whoever made this bus, <laughs> has put the door in the wrong place. Oh, um, it's not your fault, obviously. No. So I'm going to have to go through the arduous task of moving the door. It just needs to go, literally. <laughs> if we could just push it along that far, it would be perfect. So basically, that door needs to fall inside the dining room space. Then, as part of my prediction of it being the best bus in the world ever, anyone's ever seen, I think this will be the shot which confirms it. Okay. This is a wall all the way to the ceiling. And then at the bottom of the wall is a wood burning stove, keep you warm. So it'll be a wood burning stove that you can put wood in from both sides. Then you have a telly on this side of the wall and a telly on this side of the wall. So one for Xbox, PlayStation and one for Netflix and chilling. That will be a bedroom as well for myself and my wife, Emma. Man, So epic. We, yeah. So we managed to get two reception rooms, a kitchen uh, and sleeps five. Incredible. In this space, Man. Uh, which is quite a lot. I probably sold it in a bit too hard for them to start off with. I told them that we were getting a bus converting and driving to the Great Wall of China. Okay, right. So I might stick to like the Lake District on the first trip <laughs> yeah, yeah. just to try and ease them into it gently. It's a long way, long way to you over there, mate. <laughs> It's there a big bus. There are a couple of different sizes. This is the biggest one. Yeah. Yeah, so this had six, 66 seats, I think. 66. They're all out, they're all out. Sorry. Yeah, I saw them. I put them on eBay. Uh, nothing. Nothing. I was, trying to save, I was trying to save 300 pounds and a skip. Yeah, right. Uh, it all ca when, you, when you're doing projects like this, it all counts. Got four different gears. What's the top speed? Do you know? Uh, I think it's like 60 miles an hour. Okay. It's slow. <laughs> so what's next, Roman? Insulate the floors from underneath, get everything watertight, move the door, and then building walls. That's the fun bit. Okay. When everything, everything comes to life. Yeah, yeah. But we are downsizing house first. Right. So we are moving. We are going to use this as a moving van. I love that. Yes. So you've, got enough, you've probably got enough space, mate. In preparation for no, having no house whatsoever yeah, and right. living on the road. I love it. Living the dream on the road. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's so a nice what? little clip thing. It says school bus. Yes. Oh, you could bus. you could change that to Roman's bus. Yes. Yeah, my wiring. Look at the, look at this. Dude. How many like do you know how many hours Do that take took me to play? Slide the fader up now. Love and hate the feedback. So I think you guys will agree, pretty much uh, the coolest bus ever, or or at least it will be in the next matter of uh, months and I, I for one cannot wait uh, to see how, how it progresses and I will be checking back in, in however long to see uh, see some progress. We're gonna go to Belgium in it. Oh yes. It's a few boys, lots of bikes. Yeah. Go test out the... Kermes. Take the bus to Belgium. Well, shout out to Roman for giving up his afternoon to speak to us and showing us round his awesome bus. Cheers mate. Thanks, Next time I see you, maybe we'll go for a bike ride, eh? Yes. Maybe. If it's not minus six, yeah. I'm all over it. <laughs> My, goodness. My goodness! How dirty is your car? I, I, I've been shown a bus. My mate's building a bus. A bus? Yes. Sounds riveting. <laughs>
Thank you. There you go, bro. What are these? They are my new wheels. What, like road wheels? Yeah. The lovely people at Parkwars are giving you some. Yes, they have. I, nice. I cannot wait. I'm very, very excited to see what these look are they, like. Are they disc or? Oh uh, yes, disc. So, yes. so you got disc on your bike. Yes. So you're 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 not as good as Froome, so you, you like disc brakes. Yes. Is that, is that right? I love my disc brakes. Ah. Oh, this is super rad, bro. A <laughs> pair of sunny jeans. No way. <laughs> t-shirt here for you as well, bro. Wow. Another one. In fact, you get two t-shirts. It's double t-shirt day. We're going to be riding a bit more now. Mr. Franny Cade is gone, right? And you didn't have a gravel bike. And, and I didn't I'm, have I'm riding bike. almost exclusively off-road at the moment. I can't wait to see all those trails that you guys have been... Uh... Well, what we've been riding is quite tame. Franny might have you believe otherwise, but... We'll, um, we'll go and do some, some proper mountain biking. I mean, I say proper mountain biking, even Pease Lake's pretty tame. You and I are both getting mountain bikes at the same sort of time. Exactly. So, so exactly. That, that, that will be exciting. In, in mountain biking world, you must have a helmet that has a peak. <laughs> it, it, you also must have goggles, apparently. Uh, bro, I don't know, man. I think I'll be like the most roady mountain but, biker ever. <laughs> you wouldn't much off-road. Uh, Cyclocross does not count. Yeah, so no then. Cyclocross in China doesn't count. Because <laughs> it was just all dry dirt, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Dry pack. No. I remember, I remember watching that video and you've been on top of this thing going, Oh my fucking God, how the hell do I get down on that? It's you, so scary. You right. Mate, can't wait. Um, good to see you, bro. Sweet, bro. See good you see soon. See you. I saw and got my wheels. Seen James. That's about it for today. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. It's slightly different and I didn't get a parking fine, so great success. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cause Ciao. we need a soundtrack as we wander through the barren west And we knew we weren't alone in this life